Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Anthony Zonda, and this right here is the HS Ice QX2 uh, Radeon R9 280X. And uh, as you may know, I have already done the um, the unboxing, uh, kind of to show you off and give you some of the first initial specs. So if you missed that video, the link will be in the description for you guys to go back and check that out first. Uh, but this video is going to be purely of a benchmark and temperature test, as I've basically already uh, told you all the kind of specs and stuff. But if you do need any more information, please feel free to click the links in the description below, and that will take you to the main HRS website for the full specs and details on these graphics cards. And there's also quite a few good websites out there which give very, 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 and I mean very in-depth reviews on basically how it all works, which is it's always good to learn. Uh, so basically, anyway, this right here is the 280X, which is basically the new kind of older brother, well not older brother, but the, the new sibling. Uh, the the the, the step brother to the 7970s. It's got the same sort of specs as the 7970, but it's meant to slightly kind of push push the boundaries a little bit more. It's much more overclockable than the old 7970, and also it's much much cheaper. Uh, so basically, I'm going to be comparing this uh, HS today to the old Sapphire 7970, the Vapor Gigahertz edition that I have, and uh, basically uh, this one right here. Sitting at idle temperature, idles at 32 in my system, and my my current Sapphire 7970 idles at 38, so it is significantly cooler. Which really just wonder why I bought the Sapphire 7970 over the HIS 7970 when that was back in the thing. Maybe it's just because it's cheaper and I'm a bit of a cheapskate. But um, there we go. Uh, at full load, using um, oh, what's the program called? Um, Fermark, Fermark, that is what it's called. Uh, basically, what that program does is it puts it through extreme stress and pressure, and uh, basically it goes to 64 degrees at full load. When my current 7970 from Sapphire goes to 75, so there's quite a big, big difference there. There is a massive, and I mean massive difference. It could just be the uh, the difference, like in the brand, the model being it HIS to Sapphire. But honestly, I think it could just be the whole kind of new R9 series compared to the 7970s. Right, so there we go. Um, on to benchmark. Battlefield 3 with the new HIS 280X. Also, it's in 66 frames per second. And by the way, this is fully maxed out on Ultra on 1080p. Uh, and compared to the old 7970, it's hit only hitting 58 which was a bit of a shock. So when I actually go onto the 270X review, comparing that to a HIS 7970, the results are a little bit closer together, but there's still a significant increase with this new range as well, so it's very, very nice. And uh, I didn't actually do any benchmarks with my old 7970, but um, just to give you some more on the new one, uh, on Crisis 3, this thing's kicking out 44 FPS, and on... Um, Hitman Absolution is kicking out 72 FPS. So overall, a pretty damn badass graphics card. So uh, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So there we go, guys. This has been the uh, temps and benchmarks uh, for the HIS Ice QX2 R9 280X. So a slight comparison there to, the, uh, seven, uh, to a Sapphire 7970 gigahertz edition as well. So um, overall, guys, these really are amazing cards and AMD I wish I had waited to buy one of these I only had to wait like an extra two months before these even got announced so I probably should have been a little bit more hesitant I should have known they were bringing out a new range I probably could have got one of these for 50, 50 to 100 quid less with slightly better benchmarks as well so my bad there guys but thank you very much HS for sending me this out for a review uh, this has been the 280X temps and benchmarks video uh, stick around for the 270X uh, benchmarks video as well as the 250 so thank you very much guys I'll see you guys next time goodbye